What is up Denverites, potential future Denverites, or just awesome people all over the world watching this video. Welcome to Things to Know, Places to Go, Downtown Edition. Now, if you're new to Things to Know, Places to Go video series, this is where I take a community in Denver and I break down all the things I think you should know. Then I give you the places you need to go in that community in the form of my favorite coffee shop, food spot, and fun local thing to do. My name is Tori Drake. I am a local Denver realtor. And I have a confession to make for this video. Uh, if I turn around, you'll see downtown right there behind me. I tried filming this in downtown itself. I have lots of cool B-roll to show you of downtown. But filming the talking part of it, I tried it and it was just super loud. I couldn't find a good place to film. I tried multiple times. It was just really bad audio. Uh, so I'm filming this in Rhino in an alleyway uh, to give it a little bit of that downtown vibe. Before we get to the things to know place to go section, I like to start off with the location and what that location means for getting around Denver. And then I like to finish it off with some real estate fast facts. So we'll start off, where is downtown, AKA Lodo, meaning lower downtown, capital L, lowercase O, uppercase D, lowercase O. Well, guess what? It's in downtown Denver. Lodo is downtown Denver. So because of that, you are about uh, 20 to 25 minutes from the Denver Tech Center, 20 to 25 minutes from Golden, 35 minutes from Boulder, and 30 to 45 minutes to get to the base of the mountains. Of course, the deeper the mountains you want to go, depending what part of the mountains you want to get into, uh, you're 45 minutes to an hour plus. And then as far as freeways go, the I-25 is just a little bit to the west of you. And it's, it's, it looks pretty close to the map, and it is close. Uh, you have a relatively easy access, but just with how busy downtown is, it can be really congested and challenging to get onto the freeway sometimes, especially depending on the time of the day. Also, you have the I-70 north of you. If you're going east to west, uh, that's a little further, but you also have Colfax that runs through downtown. Colfax is one of the, our main roads in Denver, so that can get really trafficy as well. Overall, if you need to get out of downtown regularly during rush hour, it's gonna be a little bit of a battle, a little bit of a struggle. Uh, because of course that's one of the busiest times in one of the busiest areas so just be mindful of that overall that covers location let's move on to things to know for downtown which is once again right there thing to know number one for downtown denver right behind me there but we can pretend that's where i am right now is that it's pretty it is the oldest community in denver and the architecture shows it and i mean that in a really cool way it's really cool it's an older community uh because that's where it all started and everything was built out around it because we had union station there uh, so things to know number two is that the architecture is really, really cool. Uh, throughout all of Lodo, you're always going to be surrounded by high-rise buildings, high-rise condos. So if you're hoping to be have that like in the city feel, like being in the city, uh, Lodo is definitely a great vibe, a great spot for you because the architecture is really pretty surrounded by the city itself. Thing to know number three is if you are a sports fan, that is good news for you because you have Coors Field and Ball Arena in downtown. So that is really fun to have that pretty much walking distance wherever you are in downtown or at least a scooter ride or Uber ride away. If you are not a sports fan and you don't like crowds, downtown may not be for you because it draws a lot of sports fans, especially if there's a big game going on. All of the local bars and restaurants are flooded with sports fans. So that's your scene. That is really, really fun for you. And by the way, if you are taking notes and all the things to know places to go trying to find your Denver community, I did all that work for you. I compiled all of my things to know places to go for all the communities in Denver in one convenient ebook that you can download for free, access immediately in the YouTube description below. So check that out. Thing to know number four, possibly number five, I already forgot, but as you can imagine in downtown, it's probably not much of a surprise, but parking sucks. It is not fun. You can get lucky, of course, sometimes, but a lot of times you're gonna have to use those public parking garages where you pay. Uh, yeah, expect to be using those a lot if you're visiting downtown or just using a car to get around and uh, to where you need to go. Thing to know number six, I think it's number six, I'm just gonna commit to that number, I probably am wrong, uh, is that public transportation, if you're in Lodo to get around Lodo or Cap Hill, which is to the east, is actually, southeast, is actually pretty darn good. You have a, uh, a transit or train that runs from Union Station to Cap Hill that you can take to get around on 16th Street. Uh, there's buses. So overall, the, the transportation within Lodo to get around Lodo or Cap Hill is really solid. If you are looking to be in Lodo and then take public transportation or something far outside of it, that's where it may start to fail you. We don't have as good of uh, public transportation to all the surrounding parts of Denver. We do have a light rail, yes, but that is of course limited as well. Thing to know number seven is that the homeless population is present, more present in downtown in its neighbor, uh, Capitol Hill slash Cap Hill. I'm not making light or trying to 
yeah, make light of the home, what the tragedy of being homeless. I, I'm not making a comment on that. I'm just saying that overall, if you're looking at living in downtown uh, or Capitol Hill area, just know that there are there is more of a homeless presence here. But overall, that's also relative. I'm from Los Angeles, so coming here, it there's way less homeless people even in uh, downtown or Capitol Hill. However, if you're from somewhere that has absolutely zero homeless people, it might be a bit of a culture shock. So all to say, I'm just trying to make you aware of the fact that in downtown slash Capitol Hill, you're gonna have more of a homeless presence. And last but not least thing to know, number nine is that parks are not really in downtown itself. However, I'll put up a picture right here. You can see on the outskirts of Lodo, you have some parks available for you to ride your bike to, take your car to, uh, rent a scooter to, anything you wanna do to get there. Well, that covers things to know about downtown, which is once again right there. Let's talk about places to go. And once again, favorite coffee shop, food spot, and a fun local thing to do. I'm gonna give you for coffee, Little Owl Coffee, because that's gonna take you right into Un right next to Union Station. Um, and from there, you have access to so many of the coolest parts of downtown Denver. You can go inside Union Station itself you can go get your coffee at little owl coffee um, there, there's a lot of big windows which is really pretty in that coffee shop so you can see all the surrounding like high rises behind you and then you can get your coffee and go into the Union Station and see some of the really cool restaurants in there it's really pretty inside people honestly go in there just to hang out um, there's a really nice cocktail lounge on the second floor which is really fun so little owl coffee is a great spot because not only do they have really cool coffee a great aesthetic but they're really well located that you can start your day there walk outside and see the high rises around you really have that city vibe go check out union station and see what it feels like to walk around all that old architecture brick buildings and really Feel the history of Denver while you're having an awesome cup of local coffee. Well, let's say it's afternoon time, you're hungry, you had your awesome cup of coffee at Little Owl Coffee, walked around, saw Union Station, saw the beautiful architecture, now you're hungry, you want food. I've got such a fun spot for you called the Dairy Block, which is like this collective eatery type thing that's half indoors, half alleyway, that has, that has there's hotels there. Um, there's really fun local uh, restaurants there, bars there, once again, coffee shops there. You can go there and have coffee as well. I just wanted to give you two different places to go so you can walk around and see the city. Um, if you want to get coffee at the Dairy Block, you can do that too. They have bakeries, they have clothing stores, and it's basically just one big massive space that everybody shares. It's really fun to walk around. And then there's the alleyway if you want to take any of your drinks, whether they be coffee or adult beverages, into the alleyway and have your food and drinks there. That's really cool as well. And just the alleyway itself is really, is, is really, really beautiful. So dairy block um, for food. Oh yeah, I didn't give you a food spot. So the food spot is just to go to dairy block and to walk around and pick a place. Because the cool thing about dairy block is there's so many restaurants to choose from that you'll be able to pick your own and pick the one that's best for you. Uh, so go check that out. Really fun uh, is to walk around and be like, you know what? I've seen 10 restaurants in the span of 20 seconds as I walk through this. Is that semi gonna come hit me? No, okay. I've seen like 20 restaurants in the span of like 10 seconds. This really cool area and that place looks like the best. So I'm gonna go have that. Go do that, that's a really fun way to do it. And I do not recommend looking the restaurants up ahead of time. Trust me, you will find something you like. Uh, don't try to pre-plan going to Dairy Block and say I'm gonna find the best Yelp reviewed place. If that's your jam, cool, I get it. But I think it's really fun just to not know what you're getting into and just to be pleasantly surprised by everything that you see and have fun just picking a place. Last but not least on places to go, what is a fun local thing to do in downtown? The Museum of Contemporary Art is a very fun way to spend uh, spend the day. That's a really beautiful artwork, of course, go check it out. They have some days are free, they have free days. So check on their website of when those are because I don't know offhand when they are. On top of that, you can also, of course, check out a game at Ball Arena or Coors Field, and that's gonna be A plus fun anytime you go. That concludes places to go. Last but not least, real estate fast facts for the area for downtown. Now, fast fact number one is that if you're looking for single family homes, not really a thing in downtown. It's more condos and a few townhomes, things like that. Are those single family homes? For sure, but very uncommon. Condos and townhomes, much more common. Real estate fast fact number two, condos, and townhomes, more so, more so condos, range from the $300,000 price bracket to like the five million plus price bracket. So basically whatever your budget is, you will have an option in downtown. Real estate fast fact number three, if you love the idea of being close to downtown, but you do want a single family home, or at least have more options of single family homes to choose from, check out Highlands nearby, Sloan's Lake nearby, and uh, River North nearby. They've got some homes there, single family homes there as well. Well guys, that does, con oh, the semi truck is coming my way. Look at that, it came back. We're gonna pause this video 
And with that semi truck leaving, that concludes things to know, places to go, downtown edition, aka Lodo edition. Once again. My name is Tori Drake. I am a Denver realtor. I love making these videos. I love Denver. I love Coloradans, Denver rights. And I would love to help you with any real estate needs to be having. So you can reach out to me, use my information below. And uh, guys, I know it's cliche to ask, but please consider subscribing to the channel because that would, that would just mean so much to me. And uh, please like the video as well because then it shows people the video didn't suck. If the video did suck, don't click like. But if you liked it, please click that like button, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next one.